The third right arm of the male octopus is also a reproductive organ. The so-called hectocotylized arm is introduced under the mantle of the female to deposit spermatophores, sacs full of sperm that the female will dose for the fertilization of over 180,000 eggs. After the transfer, the male abandons the female, who then hangs the embryonic sacs from the roof of her cave and buried alive, she will look after them until they hatch and disperse throughout the seabed as she dies from starvation. Over 50 species of cephalopods live in the Mediterranean. Although little is known of the behavior of most of them, because their nocturnal and abyssal habits make the study of their behavior and natural relations quite difficult. In walls always exposed to currents, there is an abundance of nutrients running towards and from the abyss, allowing the continuous exchange of energy. By way of their two pairs of nasal orifices, two tubes on the tip of their mouth and another shorter pair close to their eyes, moray eels capture chemical and odorous substances in the water. Not only to search for food, but also to seek out the most receptive female. Notwithstanding its limited sight, and the fact that the neuromasts on the lateral line are present only on its head, it has an extremely well-developed sense of smell that makes it an effective tracker. Between July and September, they approach the coast in search of a mate. Of their hundreds of eggs, larvae that are transparent and laterally flat will be born. They will live as pelagic beings in open waters until they become juveniles, when they'll descend to the bottom of the continental shelves to start developing their benthic habits. This other nocturnal eel has a more extended lateral line that reaches the end of its tail. Throughout its head, the conger eel also has pores that are especially sensitive to electromagnetic pulses, with which it detects the electrostatic energy emanated by everything that moves around it. Helped by water's superconductivity, they feel a world of electric waves and low-voltage luminescence. 